So this is a leak detection that we performed. We actually showed another video of damming up the spillway, but we're going to get into what we found. Um, we found delaminations and not knowing if we had structural issues underneath them. Anytime you have a delamination and you have efflorescence, it usually means that there's just water behind the plaster and nothing really structural. However, you always have to back that up. Um, this pool wound up being so delaminated that they wound up re pebble teching the whole pool, but when we did get behind some of those d lamps, we found some structural issues. Take a look at the video, check it out. So here we got our regular pool spa combo. It's a pebble tech pool. We're just checking everything out. We're gonna look at the equipment. We're gonna do a visual. We're gonna walk the pool. We're gonna look around. And in this case, we're gonna point out a whole bunch of other issues that we have going on. We have a lot of delaminations with efflorescence. And these are in big areas and they cover a large wide section. So whenever we have efflorescence, we usually don't believe that it's leaking. It's usually bleeding out, but we have to be specific and we're gonna show you how we do that. Again, we're gonna walk the pool still, looking for anything else that might be visual, that might be uh, really standing out. We're gonna get this pool to be quiet. We're gonna get it all ready to listen. So now we're gonna drop our pool scope. And right away, we're hearing a leak right underneath that skimmer. Next thing we're gonna do is use our side mic and we're gonna to listen to everything that we're taking notice of. Lights, we're gonna drop and drag our regular pool scope over the main drains and we're gonna listen. Remember, water pushing out, weight of the water is gonna create leaks and we're gonna hear them. We're gonna to listen to spa lights, spa jets, spa suction, and now we're actually gonna to listen to those areas where we have the efflorescence. Again, usually they're not leaks, but in this case, we need to get behind it because we have a bond beam break in that same area. We're gonna saw cut the skimmer. Um, we're gonna get it all torn up. When we actually do that, we're gonna try to save as much rock as possible when we do start our chipping process. Again, we like to cut with water to keep that dust down. But once we get in, we try to take a little bit of a sleeve and lift up that stone. And if we could save it, we do so. Um, we're able to do that in a lot of this stone and you'll see it at the end of the actual job. And here is the actual leak in the pipe underneath the skimmer. We're actually able to show it to you here. Check it out. And next thing we're gonna do is work on cutting that pipe, getting it out of the way, and we're gonna plumb our new skimmer. So here's that cut pipe. We did that actual stub up, and now we're actually ready to start setting our skimmer. When we set the skimmer, again, it's always to proper level and height. Then we use our steel dowels, and we're gonna steel dowel into the pool wall. This is one of the most important parts of installing a skimmer. Again, they don't do this all over the country, but where they do this, these skimmers usually last a long time. Remember, this is an old pool. We re entomb a skimmer properly. We used about eight bags when we reset that skimmer. Now we're gonna use that same stone with mortar mix. This is what it's gonna kinda of look like. I mean, we do have some straight cuts, but we like to keep the veins all lined up. And that's solid, so it's gonna come to here. And this is solid down here, but we still have the structural crack. So watch what happens when we pop it. It just went, you know why this cracked? It's because it, it, they went so thick. You see how thick that is? See how thin it is here? See how thick it is over here? So aside from this being all hollow going back, we have some uh, hollowness on the bond beam. So it's pretty solid there, solid over there. But again, that's all gonna come off. So now we're gonna chip that thing off. We're gonna chip out everything loose underneath it. We need to take a good peek underneath this to see if we have anything structural. And in this case, we actually do. There is a structural crack running behind and we found some structural cracking in the others as well. Remember that efflorescence stays back there because water gets behind it as you just saw in that video. Now we're gonna set our staples and in this case, um, we're gonna set our staples back into the chipped out plaster that was underneath. And they're gonna wind up chipping out the rest of this pool to resurface the whole entire pool. There's just too many big d lambs and structural issues. We did our work, we're gonna come in um, and do what we needed to do, and now we're gonna leave it to the plasters. 
So in this video, I'm glad we were able to show you how we could be thorough. We got to get behind those delaminations to see if we do have any structural issues underlying going on underneath. Here we did a skimmer. Um, we checked the pool for uh, leaks. We also had a leak in the spa spillway, which we did show in another video. For more information, visit leaktronics.com and check out all our YouTube videos.